when we talk about a heart, heart is highly adjustable remote transducers, okay? Yeah. You need, what you need? A plug. Yeah, yeah, take, hit, yeah. I had a plug. I just used one. You need one too? Yeah. Oh, here, you can use mine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is digital? For the purpose of what we're talking about, digital is on and off. Another representation of on and off is zero and one. If we say that, if we say that one is on, zero is off. Okay? So when we're talking about digital communication, we're talking about ones and zeros. In the heart of communication signal, what we're doing is, this is your analog signal right here. So let's just say that this analog signal is one milliamp. Okay, let's just say it's 10 milliamps. It's 10 milliamps right here, okay? So at heart, it superimposes, it superimposes a plus 0.5 milliamp signal and a negative 0.5 milliamp signal. So this is one cycle right here. This is one cycle, but this cycle is moving at the rate of 1200 hertz. So what that means is, it's moving at 1,200 cycles per second. And when the heart protocol sees 1,200 cycles per second, Tom, guess what it says? Oh, that's a one. Come on. It says that's a one. And then when the same heart protocol sees 2,200 cycles per second, what does it say? That's a zero. So we have, we have a digital signal Riding on top of an analog signal, but we still, why do we still see the analog signal? Because the average of this analog signal is still this signal is being read right here. Because remember, what's plus five milliamps and minus five milliamps? Zero. So it is going so fast. Your your, your wall outlet does sixty cycles a second. This is doing. Uh, 1,200 cycles per second. Would 1,200 be the equivalent of your 4 and the 22 be the equivalent of your 20? No, no, no. Whenever we're reading the heart, it's either, it's either 1 or 0. There is no in between, right? The heart protocol is not milliamp, Tom. I'm sorry, I'm trying to relate it. I'm the heart protocol is this phase shift key right here. That's what I believe it means. Technology to encode digital information communication over a current signal for the twin. You see, so the, the, the transmitter is delivering a 4 to 20 signal. Remember, we seen 4 to 20. But when it's coming from heart, this is what we're seeing right here. And the heart communicator has a protocol that picks that signal up. Everything about that transmitter is stored in that signal. The range is stored in that signal. The sensor limit is stored in that signal. The temperature of the sensor is stored in that signal. The, uh, the PV that it is right now is stored in that signal. The set point, all of that. Anything that you can program into that transmitter is stored in that signal right there. You see what I'm saying? Everything, everything is stored in that signal right there. This right here is going to an analog card or something else. But the card is looking for the analog signal. Does the card see this? No, it's, the cycle is too fast. The card is not slow, it's not fast enough to catch all of that. So it's just catching the average of that signal. Remember, the wall out of this 60, 60 hertz, this is 1200 and 2200 hertz. Okay? So, when you have a heart communicator, and that heart communicator tells you that my transmitter is, is reading 17 milliamps, that's not a 
17 million signal for sure. In order to be sure if it's a 17 million, you need to use a digital multimeter or an amp meter. Because I'm going to show you later on in the class when we get on transmitters how that million signal from that transmitter has to be calibrated. It can be sitting out 15, but the uh, digital signal may say 16. So you have to calibrate that signal too. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. So uh, um, can the analog signal be used for another device, but does it, this all would be for one device? No, that analog signal could be, oh, this analog signal right here? Yes. Now, meaning is this, is the, the advantageous of this part signal over an analog signal so you don't have to run new wire? You can upgrade your equipment to digital? Ding, ding, ding. That's the whole you, the, 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 the benefit of this heart signal is you can use this transmitter to go to an analog device and yet you can take those same wires and you can pick up the digital signal off those same wires. Oh wow, that's pretty impressive. That is impressive, man. Yeah, as many times as we couldn't do something at a plant or something because you didn't have the wires running there, that's, that's really big stuff. Well, it depends, you know, you can use the watch, with, with, but in order to read this signal, you have to have a hard device. Once you have that hard device, they can read that signal, and then you get that signal drawn in as digital communications. Well, guess what? Once that happens, they've got digital communication cards. That card with that digital communication can probably then output that digital signal into any form that you want. That is cool. So with field bus, you can't use analog and digital. But with heart, you have analog and digital signal. And in my point of view, even the companies that have thought about using uh, field bus decided that heart was better.